Okay, now I'm going to stick you a little bit here. I want to make sure you feel nothing. Yep, all done. Okay, can I have that please? And there's your number that's inside. And then it's put in a small glass capsule and it is injected into your body just like a shot of penicillin. As I mentioned previously, there's a product on it called Biobond that immediately upon injection forms a pseudo scar tissue inside your skin so that the chip doesn't migrate. There's no power source in the chip. It lies dormant underneath your skin for years and it's only awakened when a scanner is waved over the area where the chip is implanted. The chip itself does not have any location technology capabilities such as GPS. The product is tiny, it's the size of a grain of rice. Today it is impossible to put a GPS receiver and a GPS transmitter inside a product the size of a grain of rice. So the chip itself is purely for identification, only holds a 16 digit code for you, that is your identification number. I'm going to read, the scanner reads me. It could be on a portal, like any, any kind of network you wanted it to, because it's open architecture. And then once they have it for the medical application, to communicate their medical records, their medical device information, their insurance information, their personal information in a clinical or emergency situation, they can then use it for the other applications, security, ingress and egress into a facility, financial as a secondary means of authentication to credit cards to help prevent identity theft. Ten to fifteen of these units, all nice and pretty, and you know, well designed. Even right now.